Hello everyone, we are talking about how to deadlift safely without hurting your back. And today what I wanna go through is when you arch too much at the bottom of the movement. So we've already talked about arching too much at the top. Um, that, that generally shuts off the hamstrings. We're trying to find and feel those hamstrings, but that kind of stuff can still happen here at the bottom of the movement. And what you'll see is they never feel, these people never feel really comfortable in the bottom. And doing this little cue helps them find how to drive with their legs and helps them get good hamstring activation and take some stress off your back. So what does it look like? So if I'm here at the bottom and I'm setting up, I'm not gonna have a nice neutral back position, I'm gonna have a arched position. And I might feel some pinching in the front of my hip, I might feel an extra stretch back here, and I might feel some tightness here in my low back. What am I doing to fix this? Uh, similar ideas, just watch the video that we did with not arching at the top. I might lay you down, I might do this little tuck thing, but. If I'm down here, you're, you're steering and you're arching your back like this, you're steering into more tension. So it's often a little bit easier to relieve some tension here. So what we're going to try to do is just say, okay, that's, you're, that's pretty good, but you're arching too much. So I want you to tuck your hips underneath you a little bit more. I want you to tuck your tailbone between your legs a little bit more. I want you to pretend like you're wearing a belt and bring your belt buckle into your belly button a little bit more. Those are my big ones. Um, same, same ideas though. We're just trying to straighten out the back position. That one's gonna be much easier to do. If, they're, if you've proven that you can't really get that, even after I lay you on the ground and I teach you how to do that hip tuck, if I haven't done that already, then I'm probably not gonna have you deadlift this way. I'm probably gonna move you to maybe a single leg Romanian deadlift kind of thing. I kick that. Thing back there. <laughs> um, stool, that's the word. Uh, I might do a single leg movement like that or I might just stick with some squatting variations because those are generally a little bit easier to learn. Again, I, I love the deadlift, but there's no reason that you need to train with it all the time. I love it. I've been in powerlifting and it's one of the big three, right? It's one of the main movements that you're supposed to train and it can do a lot of really good stuff, both, you know, not just for the lower body and not just for back health, but also for even shoulder health, right? Um, but if you can't do it safely, if you don't have a whole lot of experience with athletic movements and stuff, it might be difficult to learn. So we might take six months to learn it and train you on something like a Versa climber or a bike, or I might even let you run, or we'll do some squatting, or we'll do some offset squatting, or we'll do some lunging or some split squatting, or we'll do some other machine exercise, whatever it is, there's plenty of ways for you to lose the weight you wanna lose, build the muscle you wanna build, and feel good without having to load a heavy deadlift, right? So go through some of those cues. We're, we're laying down on the ground. We're, I'm just gonna walk you through it just so you don't have to find the other video. So I'm here, tuck the hips, and I say, I just want you to lift the tailbone. Oftentimes people are gonna bridge too high. I want you to say, keep your back in the ground and then lift your tailbone. Do you feel your back in the ground more? No, okay, come back down, try again. Come back down, try again. Give me an exhale, <sighs> try again. Oh yeah, now I feel it, now I feel it, now I know what you're talking about. Okay, so you might have to do it a couple times, you might have to breathe a few times, but we're using this to learn how to take that arch out of your back in the bottom of your deadlift. Here, take this arch out and round back a little bit more. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any cues you wanna leave down below, feel free to leave them, but similar principles are applying here. We gotta learn, we gotta just find some way to find this good hip tucked position. So good luck.